Uh, what kind of specifics can you give me uh, into the creation of animals, uh, you know, into the recording of that tune, the creation of that tune? Uh, and then what, what, what's your actual take on the song yourself now that you've had some time to, to live with it? Well, I think the main thing I think with, with animals is, is it was one of the last songs that we wrote for the record. Um, and actually when we were putting it together, it was really interesting because I initially really wanted those verses to be really fucking heavy. And for me to just mm. be like shouting over it and it being super industrial. And when we were trying that out, it was just like, this does not work. This was, it sounded weird. It sounded horrible. The chorus clicked straight away. It was like, that was the first idea that we put down. It, it, it didn't change. The lyrics didn't change, which is the straight from the demo. Uh, and we just, we fell in love with it straight away. But yeah, with the verses, we we moved towards doing like that kind of, I guess like sort of like Mew-ish kind of vocals with the like light vocals, but with the massive uh, industrial drums and sort of just bouncing off each other. And it was like, ah, this is exactly what the song needs. It's like, let the song be heavy and let the song do the talking. And, you know, let me take a step back and just, say what I want to say and, and deliver it in a way that's Im impassioned. But also I don't need to be screaming to get people's attention, you know, more often than not, the quieter you are, the harder people listen. Yeah. You just brought, uh, you, you just crystallized what I was about to say. Sometimes the juxtaposition of quiet to loud actually makes it stand out more than it could. If you had blood coming out of your eyeballs as you let loose. Yeah, exactly. I think, uh, going into bits where where it's like whispering before everything hits in and whisper and singing like nobody can burn a glass cathedral really quietly before before it goes into a massive breakdown is is wicked and I just loved being experimental on this record and doing things that felt really exciting and you know it's our ninth album not a lot of bands have nine albums mm. let alone have been doing it. You know, we've been doing this since we were like 17, 18, and, and now we're like 30, 30, 32, 33. It's, it's, and to have been through what we've been through, it's like you don't want to just phone it in and do another Architects record because, like, that's there, that exists. That's the, the record that's just there. The, the Holy Hell is there. We don't need Holy Hell Part Two. We need to do something that is creative, uh, is exciting, and, for more than anything to get that buzz that you get when you write a song when you're a kid and the first time you put two three chords together and you're like that's mine you know <laughs> to be like in the position of like yeah that's good let's get an orchestra on that okay and let's reverse the vocals there before it kicks in and let's get a horn section you know like being able to 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 use the the, the platform that we have now to be creative and to 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 create the architect's record that's in my head, you know, because I always think the best architect's record is the next one because otherwise it's like, why the fuck am I writing it? And why are we going to town on it? <laughs> you know?